Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. We are finally on to midweek mini number three. <coughs> it's taken a while but we're here. Yay! So this is where we just have a bit of a catch up and I show you any mini buys that I've bought. I've got quite a few waiting to be done because of my accident and me not being here. They kind of piled up and I was already slightly behind. So there's quite a few to plough through over the next few weeks. I've definitely got enough to keep me going. Uh, I think we've got them from the beginning of April onwards. So first of all, let's just do our first one. Now this is a company I found through the Enchanted Emporium Fairs UK on Facebook. They do monthly little online markets of witchy stuff. I will put the links below for you to check out. Um, and they also do special days, different offers from different people on different days on their face on the Facebook group. So please go check them out below. This company is amazing. She makes some amazing stickers. This is her website address for Witchcraft Elements Etsy. Rachel, she is very approachable. I wanted some vinyl waterproof stickers to decorate my very boring walking sticks with and she had different sort of sets and I said could I have a few from different ones and specifically could I have lavender because everyone knows I love lavender and these are the ones so they're kind of mystery stickers but I knew I was getting lavender and these are the ones I got so I really wanted to get you showing these to you sorry because I really want to get my walking stick sorted because I'm not very stable at the best of times and definitely not at the minute. So here we go. It tells you all the instructions how to do them. And these are the ones she sent me and I haven't looked up to now. So here we go. And she does like normal stickers as well but these ones are the more waterproof ones. So we have this one with some books and the moon. And I even gave her sizes because my, wa my walking sticks fold down for storage so I needed them to fit in the sort of sections so I gave her the length of the longer sections and she was amazing worked with me to get this done so there's the first one really like that oh really nice potion that's lovely we have oh, another potion I like that one and these ones as well, I think she must have, no, you know, she's taken into consideration that they're going on to a walker stick because these will bend around lovely. <laughs> Here's my lavender. Thank you very, very much. And she designs these all herself and they're so beautiful. And we have another potion. These are lovely. And we have another moon and book one. Very me. I <laughs> love these. Then we have an oh this is I love these potion ones. Another potion. And then we have is that rose and sage. It's a very nice one as well, another bundle. And then we have this one, Books with Cats. So that's our third our third one with books. That's lovely, isn't it? So that is my first midweek mini from Witchcraft Elements. All of the links will be below and yeah just go check them out give them a follow give them a like wonderful service and i can't remember how much these were but they weren't expensive um i've had them a little while i'm afraid if i can if i remember i will put it in the link below but it's uh, sorry in the description below so yeah that's the first midweek mini um so yeah um what's been going on with you guys i've not really got anything to report i'm still kind of recovering from this concussion and my head injury sporting a nice bald patch on the side of my head our lambs have all been born now we had the last two lambs born on the 19th of April a little boy and a little girl, two little black lambs hello Tumbelina cheeky baby hi Nemo you're so cute yes you are you're so sweet Oh, I know it's wet, isn't it, baby? Mm, he's so cute. He's the zen sheet. Look at his eyes. He's so cute. Yeah. 
Here, Nemo. Here's your good boy. Hmm. He's so cute. Here's your so smushy face. Where's your good smushy face? And the little girly there. Oh, uh, let me have a Barney be here. Hi, Barney. Say hi, Barney. Boop. Yeah, that's the camera. You made it blurred. Good boy. Good boy, Nima. Who's next to me here? Oh, little boy. Hi. Hi, little bog. So very cute and when I'm up to it, spending some time with them is pretty much what I've been doing um, and obviously spending time with my childling and Mr Jenny. So yeah, I'm just trying to get back to a little bit of normality with life for my good days. Um, so that's about it for me really. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to. What did you do for Beltane? Or I know not everyone pronounces it Beltane but it's just how I've always pronounced it. Um, I wasn't really up to much again for this. Sabbath which and the Sabbaths are really very dear to me and this year I don't seem to have been able to celebrate them like I would but we did have a, a bonfire um, and I did get some baking done we have Childling and Mr Journey helped because I wasn't up to doing it all on my own so that was great that's my thing I like to do um, but it was a very basic celebration so let's go on to our next Midweek mini, and this is one that I've ordered since my accident, but I wanted to get it shown so I could use it. And it is a pretty head, so I've got this for your Etsy, all the links are below as ever. Um, and this is a handmade, quite wide hairband. I used to wear Alice bands when I was a kid, my mum used to put them on me, but I used to get headaches from them. But this is a super flexible one, really well packaged, and I got it in hopes to kind of hide some of my head injury because I'm sporting quite a very large bald patch on my head at the minute and I got it in this nice celestial design I'm not sure if it's going to quite be big enough I think my head injury is actually going to be sticking out either side but I'm hoping it'll help the brand is in there if you can see it it's very flexible so I'm hoping it doesn't give me a headache but yeah I could do with one that's about this wide really but yes it's hopefully going to cover most of it and give me a bit more you know not be so self-conscious when I start going out again um, and a very sweet message on the back um, there and there's all of the places you can find them but I will link them below and very sweetly they also put in an English rose tea bag and an Earl Grey Mr Jenny will like that and I will like that one probably so I'm looking forward to using those Again, very quick turnaround, um, considering it's handmade. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit of hard glue there, but we will see what that's like. Hopefully it won't, won't hurt me too much. But it's very flexible. And I'm hoping that that will cover and give me a bit more confidence when I go out and I start venturing out. So that's that item. And then I think one more midweek mini for this week. What do you guys think? Should we try it for one or should we try for two? We'll see. Let's, let, let's try for two. Let's go for it. This is the next one. I can't show you the other side because it's got all my address and it's that big because it's come from... Where is it from now? Netherlands. See, you may have seen a video I did showing you my new hat from Rowan Made Accessories or Rowan make, Made Accessories and I will link the video below if you haven't seen it the hat is gorgeous, winter hat and this is something I ordered way before I had my head injury I have fine hair so I don't usually tie it up but I loved their hair ties so I ordered one I managed to get one I liked I still haven't got a Hobbit one but I did get this one it's very well wrapped protect the beads and if you've got really long hair that's great it's purple my favorite color um, and yeah we have a tree we have some lab lovely little right in the bottom there we have on this one a little fake cat skull 
and we have pentagram, pentacle, sorry. And then we have some beads, some beautiful beads on here. And I just thought that was really nice and very me. Um, and the plan was to put it, um, my hair up using it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that at the moment, but as soon as I can, I will. I just really love it. I used to have dreads many years ago and it just kind of gives that effect. And I just thought it was really cute. Look at the little cat skull. So yeah, that is my hair tie from Rowan Maid and hopefully when my hair grows back in I can wear it properly. <laughs> so there's two hair accessories, oh stickers. So we have Rowan Maid and we have Pretty Heads. And that's been here for ages for me, waiting for me to show you. And then... Yeah, have you been enjoying the sun? The sun has finally arrived, although the rain's supposed to be coming back soon. Really been enjoying the sun. Even if it has been from a window. <laughs> really enjoyed the sun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I think the last one I'll do for today, if you remember when I did my second midweek mini, which is quite a few weeks ago, I had some items from Drix Productions. And they were took part in the Magpie, Ma Magpie Market D stash. I ordered some items and I got a couple of these notepads because I always use a notepad. I can't remember how much it was because it was quite a few weeks ago now. But they were all really cheap because of the because of the um it was a D stash. So there's the details again and I got a couple of these these notepads I always use notepads all the time so a couple of notepads I got two of these I think I bought these separate these weren't in the D stash so these are normal price and I can't remember how much they were each so similar to the pin that's on my pin board now but and as a badge So there's a holographic one and a normal one and they're all reasonably priced really good quick turnaround I mean even this I don't think that took that long maybe two weeks to get here and this was here relatively quickly and I got some pins in their D stash too this well actually it's two of the same one but one is four gift so there we go so there is that item of week mini and the last thing I'm going to show you am I going to do one more let's do one more should we do one more yeah let's do one more in case I want to wear it so I also ordered a hat from Etsy I ordered a hat from Etsy because of the baldness issue because even though Mr. Jenny keeps telling me you can't really see it, I'm still self-conscious about it. So I ordered a hat. And this, I'm pretty lucky that I can pull off a hat usually, is from, here we go, GJC Boutique. There's all the info, but it will be down below. And I bought this mustard colour sort of beanie, no it's not a beanie hat, what what do they call them? Um, Baker Boy hat? That kind of thing. So, and you can adjust the size here, it's really good quality. It was £12 I think it was. So you can adjust how tight it is on the inside. I've, I'm just going to have it loose because I shouldn't have any pressure on my head at the minute. But yeah, so I got myself that. And that came within about three days of me ordering it, which was amazing. So guys, that I think is going to be it for midweek minis. We've done one, two, three, four, five this week. That's quite a few midweek minis. I hope you all like them. And yeah, that's that's the midweek minis for this week, guys. I'm really glad to be getting back into the swing of doing videos. I've missed being here. It gives me structure. 
I'll be here as often as I can when I am able. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know what your favourite item is. Please go check these guys out. Let me know what you've been up to because it feels like forever. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And until next time, guys, I send you all my brightest blessings. Goodbye.